Good morning, Lakita Blackhawks. Uh, today we're in our first office hours, our training, so you can uh, be given all the information of how you're going to access the web application, uh, choose courses, and just see how everything's going to work uh, over the next uh, year, but specifically the next couple of weeks, just getting familiar with uh, all of our, our uh, resources that we have. Okay, so let's begin here. So first, uh, to answer some questions, Blackhawk Hour Training Day and our objective is the students will understand the purpose and value of office hours. Uh, some of that will also come in tomorrow during uh, uh, our second installment of this. Students will be able to access the web application, sign up for sessions, and be able to access a QR code or barcode to scan in for attendance. And that's what we're going to be mainly focusing on today is that second objective right now uh, through this slide presentation. So Black Hawk Hour is, it's extended learning. It's time for you to get extra help. It's extra time to complete assignments or projects you might have. It is an opportunity just to take advantage of, of resources that you have at your disposal and to uh, help your education and your academics here at uh, La Quinta High School. <clears throat> time is for you. Uh, you will have some choices as to where you can go, what help you can seek out. Um, you will be invited sometimes by teachers. Um, but again, this is your time to uh, help all of your uh, academic needs and, and seek out any resources that you need. Who offers Black Hawk Hour sessions? Well, all teachers will be offering it. Counselors will be offering various sessions. Uh, our CTE programs will be offering it. Athletics may be offering some uh, sessions. Uh, the therapists that we have on campus, for those who um, are in groups or, or have some mental health uh, concerns, uh, it is for uh, everybody and, and, and all of those people will be offering various sessions uh, for the Black Hawk Hour. Is the Black Hawk Hour mandatory for all students? Yes, it is absolutely 100% mandatory uh, and you must attend. Attendance will be taken. Where do I go for a Black Hawk Hour? Well, what happens if I'm invited by a teacher? So if a teacher invites you, you'll get an email notification. So please make sure you're checking your email. Uh, you must attend the teacher's office hours if you are invited, okay? So if they invite you, that is the session that you have to go to. Uh, what happens if you are not invited? Well, then you'll be able to go onto the web application and choose where you would like to go from all of the sessions. Uh, it may be limited for specific teachers to only students that are in their classes. Some teachers may be offering it for students on the entire campus. And there's also something called enrichment for those students who have a 3.0 or higher GPA. And some sessions may only be offered for students for that have that enrichment uh, capability. And we'll look at that in a little bit. Uh, the one thing that may happen is if you choose maybe on Friday or Monday, you pick your sessions. Uh, the teachers will not be inviting until Tuesday morning at 830. Uh, that's when the invitations will go out. So if you've already chosen something, the invitation will override that. You will receive an email. Um, so that is the session that you'll be going to. Why office hours? Well, it allows time built into your school day, less time spent getting help during lunch or staying after school. It allows you to make decisions based on your own academic needs and allows for improvement in school-wide student achievement. Examples of some of the sessions that might be offered opportunities to review for an upcoming exam or review results of an assessment. Uh, you have opportunities uh, to reach learning targets, receive and review feedback on your work, uh, lesson extension activity, opportunity to dive deeper into the content. Uh, you can have collaborative study groups. There might be some enrichment for the Blackhawk scholars. Examples could be guest speakers, college workshops, career workshops, uh, financial aid workshops. There could be some physical activity classes, um, counseling opportunities. Uh, I may be offering a chess uh, class now and again, so there will be some, some outside of your normal uh, class curriculum offered during those uh, enrichment times. Okay, uh, next we're gonna watch the Blackhawk video student training. Uh, that's gonna come on here in just a second. Uh, it will take you through the web application live, so you'll be able to see what it looks like. Uh, before you log in and I kind of walk you through that web application. We're going to do the video section now in the presentation to get you better acquainted with how you'll be able to log in to the web application uh, 
see the classes you've been invited to and select the classes that you would like to, uh, to attend if you have not been invited by a teacher. So the first thing we need to figure out where we're gonna go to log in, and the best part is just go to the school website, uh, lqhs.dsusd.us. Obviously, some of you already have it saved, or you can Google it. Under our quick links section, we have a little hourglass that says Blackhawk Hour. Go ahead and click on that, and it'll bring you to the login page. Now I'm gonna log in as a fictitious student that we've put in. We have two different ones, so we can get a, a couple of views. Um, but your login is very simple. It's just your first name dot last name. So we have uh, student dot one here. Okay, so the same that you do to log in to uh, any of your school applications. And then your password is your student ID number. And so that will be your eight digit number. Okay, and the first thing that'll pop up is your profile. And it'll have your name up here at the top. Uh, it'll have a QR code. Uh, you can use this to scan into your sessions. You can also use your lanyard that has the barcode. So it's best to have the lanyard. Um, if you don't have the lanyard, again, you can log in here. And there's also a place in your Synergy app where you can log in and get either a barcode or a QR code. Uh, and we'll be able to, to scan any of those. You'll notice here that student one has not been invited, nor have they signed up for any sessions at this time. Uh, we'll do that in just one minute. I also want to point out over here on the right, they're a Blackhawk Scholar. They have that little badge. Um, what that will allow the student to do is sign up for any courses that are uh, entitled enrichment. Okay, and if they are not invited by a teacher, you can go to enrichment sessions, which would be sessions that are not directly connected to your grade in a class. It might be just some uh, extra type of, of interesting topic that the, the teacher would not normally cover in the section. So related to whatever they're teaching. Um, and as you'll be able to look through the offerings. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna go to listings and this will show the listings. And right now we only have a few up here, okay? Um, because we're, we're not at the point right now where we're, we're doing it all. And so you're gonna sign up for both a Wednesday and for a Thursday session, okay? Now, student one, uh, as they look on Wednesday, there's really nothing at this point that they can sign up for. Uh, again, everybody, all the teachers will have their uh, listings up and because Mr. Mr. McIntosh, uh, myself, are only allowing students in our classes and student one doesn't have a schedule. Uh, Ms. Van Doren is having a sophomore session introduction to IB for 10th graders, so only sophomores can register for that section. Um, and now on the other side, we notice that there is an enrichment opportunity. And so since student one does have the Blackhawk Scholar badge, they would be able to sign up uh, for that activity and they can click OK. Uh, if you change your mind, you can hit withdraw and you can leave that. Uh, if they decided, no, I need math tutoring instead of the enrichment, I'm going to sign up for the math tutoring, okay? Now, if you've been invited by a teacher to attend their session on either day, you will not have any sign-up buttons. None of them will appear, okay? So you'll have no opportunity to sign up. You must attend the session that you have been invited to. If you've not been invited to a session, uh, signups will appear for anything that you are eligible to sign up for, um, whether if you're in, in that teacher's class or if you're in a certain grade level, if you have the Blackhawk Scholar badge then you can sign up for enrichment. And some sessions will just be open to all students on campus. So you will be able to do that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to log out and sign in as our other fictitious student. And student two, We'll look at the profile it does not have the scholar badge okay so you'll notice a difference here when this student goes to listings they will not have an opportunity to sign up for that enrichment because they do not uh, have that scholar badge if the scholar badges and the blackhawk um, scholar are based on each quarter's gpa so you need a 3.0 gpa or higher uh, for that quarter and then each quarter we we re uh refresh the list so anybody with a 3.0 or higher will qualify for any enrichment sessions okay so this student could sign up they are a sophomore so they're going to sign up for the introduction to ib for miss van dorn and they will also sign up for math tutoring on the next day okay and once you go back to the profile it is green and it shows you that you have signed up for those if it is in yellow that means you were invited by the teacher and that will show up as the teacher invite um, you would see that when you log in because the teachers all invited their third and fourth periods uh, for this current week that we're, we're meeting and doing the soft opening. 
So that's pretty basic, uh, everything that you need as far as checking the listings, um, what's in your profile and how to log in. Remember it is your uh, first name dot last name and then your student ID is your password. Okay, uh, the other thing that I'd like to show you is uh, another way to get a QR code or a barcode to get scanned by your teacher as you enter the session is on your app uh, for your Synergy. Okay, if you'll, you'll wait, this kind of goes through. If you look at the bottom down here, there's a plus sign. If you hit that, uh, and some of you may not be aware of it if you have the app, if you hit the plus, it says ID card at the bottom. Okay, and it's going through the kind of running on a loop. So you hit the plus, the ID card, and then you'll get a barcode. And you can also, excuse me, barcode and a QR code. All right, both are available on the Synergy app. If you have not downloaded it, you can certainly download the Synergy app on uh, your phone. And again, just the plus at the bottom. And so that is another way that you can uh, pull up a way to be scanned into the session. Okay. As far as the times we've gone over that, the times to start looking at sessions, teachers will be able to start entering the sessions after office hours on Thursday for the following week. Um, you can sign up uh, once you find something that you're eligible for and, and you'd like to attend. Please be aware again that teachers will be inviting students on Tuesday morning uh, of the week of the uh, Blackhawk Hour sessions, and that will start at 8.30. So if you've already chose something, an invite will override that. So if you get invited, you will receive an email when a teacher invites you. So make sure that you're checking your emails. Um, keep up to date on that. Look at them. If for some reason a teacher invited you and then they're going to change their session uh, for whatever reason, or you, you know, uh, got a, you know, they graded a test and you don't need to, to attend the session anymore. Uh, maybe you already came in to make the test up or something. Um, they will uninvite you and you'll also get an email for that, which then means you need to go back and choose a session. Again, the expectation is that you'll have both sessions, either you'll be invited to or you will be responsible to choose a session that you'll be attending, okay? Uh, so there you go. You can go ahead and log in at this point. Um, what we're going to do for next week, after office hours completes today, um, the teachers will resubmit their offerings and they will not be inviting you. You will need to go in for next Wednesday and choose your third period teacher. Okay, so that session will be open. You'll find your teacher. It'll be their students only. You are in the class. You'll have a sign up key, but make sure for Wednesday you click for your third period teacher. And then again, next Thursday, you will be returning to your fourth period. And again, it's your job to go in and actually sign up for that session. So these first two days, the teachers invited you. <clears throat> for next week, you are going to go choose your session and your third and fourth uh, periods, uh, respectively. Then last, the, the week after that, so two weeks from, from now, uh, we will be doing a, a full-blown office hours, our first one. So again, teachers might be inviting you. You can go look at the sessions, uh, sign up for uh, the sessions that, that you think would most benefit you um, in your, your academics. So have a great day. That's kind of the basics. If you have any questions, uh, your teachers can help you. Um, uh, if, if they are struggling, you can come to uh, room 255 at lunch today. And if you're, you really need some, some questions answered. Now that you've seen that video, uh, you're going to go ahead and uh, log into your own web application, the Blackhawk Hour. As I showed you on the video, you'll go to the website. Uh, and you can click on the link there under the hourglass. Um, you're going to log in. It's your first name, dot, last name, and then your password is your student ID. All right, so that first name, dot, last name is the same one that you use to log into your school applications. Uh, take a couple minutes when you get in there and look around uh, the website. You will not be able to select a course at this time. We already have this week's office hours. Uh, you've been invited today by your third period teacher, and tomorrow you were invited by your fourth period teacher. Um, at the conclusion of each week's office hours, so tomorrow uh, when we finish our office hours, the listings for the following week will be available under the listings tab. However, the teachers have to, to um, 
edit their listings and, and resubmit them. So not all the listings will be up right away, obviously. So it may take closer into Friday and Monday for 100% of the listings uh, to be available to you. But at that point, you, you could start looking at them. Okay, so please remember for next week, this is very important. Next week, the teachers will not be inviting you. We want you to go in and actually select your classes. And for next Wednesday, you will go in and find your third period teacher. They're alphabetical. Uh, scroll down and click sign up on your third period teacher for next Wednesday. And then for next Thursday, please sign up uh, the session for your fourth period teacher next Thursday, September 29th. Again, we've asked the teachers to have those in there by Monday. So by Monday, you guys hopefully have gone in and signed up for those sessions. Uh, so again, next week, you will be with your still third period on Wednesday and fourth period on Thursday. And then the following week in October, that will be our first full office hour sessions, October 5th and 6th. And it'll be every Wednesday and Thursday after that, unless otherwise stated for things like finals week or maybe some testing, we may not have office hours those weeks. Um, other than that, again, after office hours conclude every Thursday, you can start looking at the listings as they are posted by the teachers. You may sign up for any of them, but remember invitations will be sent out by the teachers Tuesday morning at 8.30. All right, hopefully this was helpful. Go ahead and, and log in and make sure that you can get into your app. Ask your teacher for any assistance if you're having any trouble. All right, have a great day, Blackhawks. Black